have reviewed one other Andy Tower fragrance on my channel, and that, of course, is Later to Desire Marocaine. And I have totally neglected this house. Andy Tower, A, is an amazing guy. I mean, I've literally talked to him a couple times through Facebook Messenger. He's very, very nice, very pleasant. You've seen him on L Street Sense before. Very involved in the fragrance community. Will answer questions, will participate. Super awesome, nice guy. On top of that, his creations are nothing short of absolutely glorious, in my opinion. Uh, we have, obviously, we have Lair de Desire Marocain, which is on a pedestal for most everyone in the fragrance community. Just a wonderful fragrance. Um, we have Vetiver Dance, which is my, oh my god, my favorite fragrance by him, and it is just beautiful stuff. And Lone Star Memories, which is amazing um, sort of leather fragrance. And just a whole spiel of other fragrances that are just absolutely stunning and amazing and complex and beautiful. So, it's absolutely no shocker that this fragrance that came out in the year 2013 uh, was one that was a big hit. Now, the one reason why you don't see it often up for sale at different places like Lucky Scent, etc., is because the rose oil used in this fragrance, I believe it comes from Afghanistan, is actually a rose that's very difficult to get your hands on so you can only do limited quantities at certain times of the year etc and so on so you're not gonna see it up for sale all of the time of course I'm speaking of the fragrance called PHI Un Rose de Kandahar I believe I'm spelling that right I could be way off I apologize if I am Un Rose de Kandahar what a beautiful fragrance. So this is the presentation. It comes in a 50 ml bottle. All of Andy Teller's fragrances come in the 50 ml bottle. That's what that looks like there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Andy Teller on the top, or tower on the top, I should say. Comes off. That's the sprayer. I will show you a spray real quick. Very nice sprayers. Um, the tin that it comes in is a little different than what I was used to. I'm not sure if they've all turned to this, because before it was like the, um, oh, it was just a, I don't recall what shape it was, but it was different than this. And um, I'm not sure if they all come like this or if it's just this particular uh, limited quantity fragrances that he does that come like this. But this pulls out of the sleeve. And we now have... Um, this slides off and it rests in there like that. The one cool thing too about Andy Tower's fragrances is they all come with a little signed card that says enjoy Andy Tower, his signature. How cool is that? So aside from his awesome sort of presentation that he has with both the box and the bottle, very, very unique bottle, too. I absolutely love all the bottles for Andy Tower. They're all the same shape, obviously, but um, they're very unique, they're different, and they're just, they're pretty. Um, the fragrance itself, obviously, the most important part. What is this fragrance? This fragrance is magnificent. It's magic. Um, I'm not huge on florals. I'm just now getting into florals. I will say that, generally speaking, uh, floral fragrances for me... I like them paired with sort of gourmand uh, facets that go throughout the fragrance. I like vanillas and stuff like that to go with it. Black Orchid obviously is one of my favorites, one of my favorite fragrances of all time. Um, we also have Montal's Intense Cafe, which is more of a coffee scent. There's a lot of rose in it as well. Red Oud by Montal is one of my favorite rose fragrances, one of my favorite florals. Uh, Guerlain's Angelique Noir is one of my all-time favorites now. That's another one that's gotten a lot of hype. So, generally speaking, I like gourmand-based floral fragrances. Now, what is this fragrance? What is this as a floral rose fragrance? Is it really super floral? Can a man pull it off? Yes. 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 So, to me, this fragrance very much reminds me of Musk Ravager. Now, it's not so close to Musk Ravager that it's like a clone of Musk Ravager. It's not at all, actually. The only thing that reminds me of Musk Ravager in this fragrance is the musk. There is definitely an animalic, earthy sort of vibe that you get in this fragrance. It's not super hard to wear or anything like that. It's not super daring. But 
that musk is very reminiscent of the musk in musk ravageur. It is not pissy, okay? It's just a very prominent musk note that's known as an animalic musk note, not a clean musk note. If I didn't know that this was a rose-based fragrance, I would have never guessed. So if you go to Fragranica, you're going to see a whole bunch of notes listed for this fragrance. But honestly, I feel like this is a very simple fragrance, very complex fragrance. But what you get from, you know, the start is kind of what I get all the way through. There's def definitely some things that pop their heads out uh, as it goes along, but it's more or less a pretty linear scent on my skin. Um, but very well done, very well blended. If I told you lately that I love you. So this fragrance opens up with the musk, and then it goes to a tobacco, uh, cinnamon, and sort of just delicious earthy patchouli vetiver sort of thing going on with the rose. It is just stunning. It is stunning. Um, that's basically what I get throughout the whole fragrance. It does go from a very sort of uh, cut and dry kind of musk off the initial spray for about the fif first 15 or 20 minutes, and then it just develops into a nice sweetened, slightly sweetened, not super sweet. It's just very grown-up feeling. So don't think it's going to be one of those fragrances that's going to be something for a sweet tooth. To me, it is not that sweet, but the spices give it the sweetness, uh, just the right amount of sweetness, mixed in with that floral and that musk, and it is just stunning. There's a bit of tobacco in there, too, that I get all piled on top of this earthiness. So the fragrance is supposed to represent the rose that's sort of in the middle of the desert, as far as I can tell from reading, and it very much does kind of uh, capture that sort of image for me. It has the spices that give it that sort of dry kind of aspect that would remind you of the desert mixed with the rose, and it's just it's just a beautiful scent. Um, so overall, the fragrance does not develop that much, but you know after the first 15-20 minutes, it does develop into that sort of spicy. Uh, tobacco-y sort of rose with the musk in the background and it's just absolutely stunning. You could wear this fragrance. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say it's definitely for a more mature audience but if you if you can pull off Musk Ravageur and you're younger uh, definitely check this one out. Um, I do feel like this fragrance is just super classy, super duper classy. You're wearing a suit, uh, if you're a woman and you're wearing a nice dress, something like that. Um, it is very unisex in my opinion. It's not sweet though, so don't think that it's going to be one of those sort of fluffy, perfumey, sweet kind of fragrances for men or women. It is very, you know, take me seriously, I'm an adult, I'm a sexy adult kind of appeal to it. And uh, I love it for that. It's one of those fragrances that makes you feel elegant and sexy and does not kind of hold back with the whole mature sort of vibe that it has going on for it. It's very complex yet very linear and it's just one of those stunning fragrances, one of those stunning compositions that I think everyone should get their nose on. It's hyped up for a reason this year, and I'm just very thankful that I got to get my nose on it. Uh, anybody who's seeking an elegant fragrance for weddings or uh, you're going on a nice anniversary date and anything like that, it just seems like it, it you know, sort of suits the bill for that kind of fragrance. Um, Definitely one of those types of fragrances that I think is meant for the fall and the winter. You can go pretty, you can't go too liberally with the sprayer. I was going to say you can't go liberally. Uh, no, I would typically stay with about three or four sprays with this. It does project very well and it does last a very long time on my skin. I'm getting 12 hours with it. And it's one of those fragrances that has great sillage as well. People will smell you. It's not the most complimented fragrance I've ever worn but it does have a nice appeal to it and it is very grown-up like so if you're looking for a fragrance that has that vibe to it definitely check this one out and get your nose on it I think everyone who's into fragrances should check this one out anyways it's just another one of his masterpieces something that I'm very excited about and I think all of you should definitely check it out as well I hope you all enjoyed this has been Andy Towers from Rose de Kandahar oh goodness just check it out. Talk to you.